The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Yeah, very difficult. Obviously, um, the first half I didn't think was too bad after going down um, early in the game. I thought we grew into the game. The players started to get a bit of confidence. But obviously, the second half after conceding um, the second goal, I think all belief and confidence just just drained from the players. I think um, we made a lot of errors, basic mistakes. Um, and when you do that against a team of Liverpool's quality, listen, you're going to get punished and we see that out there. Well, the goals have inflicted as well, you know, there's a lot of pressure, but a lot of them are done in all areas. Yeah, of course. They're, listen, they had a lot of pressure on us, but, you know, when you're making uh, basic errors, whether it's um, the setup from a set piece or uh, second balls or, you know, a misplaced pass, you give yourself no chance. When you come in, you need to make sure you're on top of your game. You, you're giving yourself a seven or eight out of ten performance, everyone, um, then you've got a chance of getting a result. But if you're making basic errors that you'd expect to see, you know, in academy football, then against Liverpool and the quality they've got, they're going to punish you. The second half, is that just, is that just where this side is in terms of confidence? You know, you mentioned touched on it there. Great beliefs sort of fading away when it's winter. Yeah, it is. I think, you know, we're bottom of the league, of course, so the confidence is low in the team and... I said I did see in the first half that as the game went on that, that the team was, was growing in confidence but um, like I say this, the second goal after then the, the confidence completely went but at the same time you have to make sure you give everything you got you still do the right things on the football pitch um, we've all been you know as players we've all been in situations where it's difficult afternoons um, but you still remain professional do the right things um, do the job for the team but out there, uh, I have to be honest and say I didn't see that from a lot of players. Is there any word on the managerial situation at the moment? Do you know if you'll be in charge for Watford at the weekend? Or? No, there's not been no change. Um, I spoke with the chairman on Christmas Eve. Uh, that was the last conversation I've had. I've, obviously, I've not spoke to him since the game tonight. We're in training tomorrow. Um, whether I'll speak to the, the chairman or the owners tonight or, or, or tomorrow, I don't know. But as things remain, I'll, I'll, I'll be in charge for Watford and, and for training tomorrow. From what you know of the club, Leon, do you think there'll be enough money in the transfer kitty to try to get you out of this trouble? Because that seems to be your last opportunity, really. Well, I mean, listen, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, you know, I'm not involved in the conversations in terms of um, transfer targets and, uh, and transfer uh, budgets as such. I think in January, just obviously at the beginning of this year, I think we had some players come into the football club and it, obviously it did give us a lift, it gave us a boost going into the second half of, of last season. I think that'll be important again to to try and get some uh, fresh faces in, to try and lift the place uh, and give the players a, a lift. Thank you very much. Thank you.